Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Welcome back. Well, this afternoon showers begin firing up in our area and now they're starting to gradually move toward the west. A lot of areas, however, did not see any rain. We may not be so lucky tomorrow as scattered storms move into the picture. They could continue into the afternoon, evening and possibly the overnight hours in some locations. The rest of the weekend, however, looks to be mostly rain free, but there is that chance of very warm weather and very muggy weather as well. However, a cold front is going to move into the picture next week. That's going to put us back into the 70s and a little bit closer to where we should be for this time of year. Right now, fairly quiet picture. The sun is beginning to set very gorgeous outside. Temperatures in 80 one feels a little bit warmer, like 84 winds out of the east at around 10 miles and really not providing much relief from those high heat indices around the area. We're looking at heat indices in the 70s and the 80s, 79 in Hammond, New Iberia at 76. That's an area that's been seeing a little more rain, 84 in Thibodeau, 86 in New Orleans, all around very warm. But overnight we will begin to cool down only into the 70s, though, waking up to partly cloudy skies and maybe a few areas of patchy fog, but also very warm temperatures as you head out. And of course, we're only going to heat up from that point as we head into the afternoon hours. Our temperatures will rise into the mid 80s. It's going to feel closer to the 90 degree mark. We're also looking at the possibility for a few storms beginning in the afternoon, continuing into the evening and again, possibly into those overnight hours. So this is the big picture right now. Really not much going on in our area. There is a little bit of rain. There's high pressure to our northeast and there is a cold front to our northwest. That front is actually going to drive toward the south tomorrow night into Saturday morning, but it's really not going to bring us much of a cool down. Instead, it's just going to bring us some rain. Take a look at the future cast just to time things out. Tonight around 9 p.m. we should be nice and dry and then as we head into the overnight hours staying nice and dry as well. But waking up to a few clouds and a little bit of fog in the picture. Then once we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see those storms fire up in the picture and there is the potential for some of these to be on the stronger side that can lead to some higher rain totals and of course pockets of heavy rain. But as we get into those overnight hours, we do stay nice and dry and we'll be mainly dry on Saturday as well with just a very slim chance of an isolated shower. So tomorrow will be the best chance out of the next five days for rain in the area. Our rain chances drop to 20 on Saturday, zero on Sunday. And after that point, we do start to see our rain chances begin to increase once again. Although as we get into the middle portion of next week, we'll start to see some higher rain totals because of that front that will move into the picture. And as far as those numbers are concerned, we're generally talking about half an inch or less for most locations. But if any of these storms are on the stronger side, there is that possibility for heavy rain and for some higher totals. But October tends to be our driest month, so we could use a little bit of rain. Fortunately, the weekend will be pretty dry if you're headed to a corn maze or if you have any outdoor activities planned. Saturday will be mainly dry, sitting at 84. Amazing weather. Then on Sunday, looking at 86, a little bit warmer, certainly not feeling like fall for this time of year. But the cooler weather is on its way and it will be here just in time for Halloween. Over the next 8 to 14 days, the Climate Prediction Center predicts below average temperatures for our areas. So get ready for temperatures to be back in the 70s. We should be around 76 for the high, 52 for the low. And we're potentially talking about temperatures a little bit cooler than that. We're also keeping our eyes on the tropics. Remember, we are over a month out from the end of hurricane season. This is Hurricane Epsilon, a Category 1 hurricane, continuing to move toward the north, and it will make that northwesterly turn, staying away from land. We're also monitoring this wave in yellow. It's expected to emerge into this yellow blob near Cuba. It has a 30% chance of formation, but right now it does look like it will stay well away from the United States. Now, we've partnered with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to give you your weather on the go and this is what we're looking at over the next few days. The main headline is going to be those storms in the picture tomorrow. We're expecting more coverage than what we saw today, so maybe have your umbrellas ready. Then on Saturday and Sunday, mainly dry as our highs sit in the mid 80s. 86 once again on Monday, Tuesday, a better chance for storms in the area sitting in the 80s again. But after that, we are back into the 70s, 78 on Wednesday, 78 on Thursday as well, looking at the potential for storms on both days, but overall it looks like we will be getting that fall weather finally. We'll be right back.